What is going on people, Mr. Singh here and today I'm going to be showing you how to disassemble and repair your Volkswagen door lock. Now a common problem for these door barrel locks is that uh, the inside of them uh, breaks and when you try turning your key the paddle on the other end doesn't actually turn with the key so that's just leaving you unable to get into your car and the repair is very very easy I'll show you how to carry it out it simply involves taking apart the end of this door barrel mechanism and swapping out a new part you can do this either by getting a second hand uh, door lock barrel from a, a scrap car or there's repair kits being sold online on eBay as well. Okay, so to start off with, uh, you want to just hold the lock in one hand, and with your other hand, you want to be pushing down on the paddle. And when we do this, we are going to be sliding out this uh, circular, semicircular clip, which sits over the top. So if I show you how to do that, if you just hold the lock in this hand push down on the paddle with your other hand and then you can just slip the clip out it's a little bit fiddly um, but it's definitely doable yep so if you just push down there and then slide the little clip up just try and wiggle it as you slide it up there you go, the clip is now out, and when you take the clip out, if you hold on to the paddle, um, because it is under spring tension, so you don't want it to go flying, and then you lose the internal parts of your lock. So if we put the clip to one side, taking note of which way up it was, so it's the rounded side facing up, and then the next part to come out is the paddle itself, and as I said, this is spring loaded, so just release the spring, take the paddle out, paddle uh, goes into the door lock module, the door lock mechanism, and that rotates when you rotate your key. Next up is the spring that I've been talking about, again just simply pops out, and then the last piece of the puzzle is a little crown shaped piece, and you may have to fish this out, it might not fall out on its own. A bit of a pair of tweezers or some pliers might help you get that out, but there's the final piece. And then, if we look inside the rest of the mechanism, you will see, if we can get some light in there, you will see that there are a couple of little prongs on either side of this remaining half, and now those sit on the other side of this crown piece, and they rotate, which in turn rotates the paddle. You see how the paddle sits uh, sorry, that way, on there, so that in turn rotates the paddle. The spring is there to keep it all together. And, like I said, the common problem with these locks is that this crown piece cracks and breaks, and then you're unable to uh, turn your key in the lock to unlock your door. And if we look closely at this crown piece, you'll see there are a few little marks along there, so that's potentially an indication that this one was close to failure. Um, it's not really surprising. Um, I'm pretty sure this lock came from a, a 2000 Reg Golf. And so at this point that's 22 years old and this part has been used for potentially 20 years. And to put this all back together, um, very, very simple. Uh, start off with the crown and the crown is quite nicely shaped in that the round, uh, the big round part of the crown, if I show you what I mean there, you'll see the crown has got this rounded side and then a flat side. The rounded side matches up with the rounded part of the lock and like I said when you slip this in you'll see there's a couple of paddles which line up with the crown so it's important to make sure that they're locked in when you slide that in and if you can see I can't turn the crown now because it's locked onto the paddles. Uh, next up is the spring and the spring uh, it's a bit fiddly to get in it's not the easiest thing 
but if you use the paddle to push down and tension the spring it's not too difficult it's definitely not impossible and the paddle uh, it only goes on one way um, but you may think that there's two ways it will go on just because the paddle sits uh, flush that way um, pointing uh, the flat side on the side of the lock barrel um, but it actually only fits on one way so if we push down on the paddle to tension that spring you'll see that as I get to there this little nib is hitting the crown and the paddle so the paddle needs to be rotated 180 degrees and then reinstalled and then if we tension the spring again be careful not to cut yourself here um, we can see again like I said a bit fiddly but you will get there you can see that the paddle fits on quite nicely there and then it's just a case of holding that in place and it's easier if you hold it all together with one hand so you have a spare hand to slip the clip on but if I put this all into my left hand again paddle the right way up we've seen how that goes on that's what I mean by the spring going flying So there we go, finally got that back together. If we then take the clip, making sure it's the right way up, you can just slip that back into place. Again, making sure that the spring is compressed. And there we go, that is the lock back together. Um, like I say, it's simply a case of making sure that this clip goes all the way back on and then you can let go of the tension and that should be your lock reassembled. So that is it, your Volkswagen door lock barrel disassembled, repaired and put back together. If you like the video, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Uh, drop me a comment with feedback and anything you want me to cover in future videos and do subscribe if you like my content. Thanks for watching.